Hi there, it's Gary from Happy to Move Bagpipe Specialist here. Just wanted to make a short video to talk about uh, the fully set up options that we have on our bagpipes and what that actually means. A lot of people, when they, they want to order a set of bagpipes, they want to customise them to their own specification. Uh, people have different options on, on bags and channels and reeds, your cords, your covers. Uh, we don't have sets of pipes sitting in all these different, um, these different standards uh, on the shelf, so everything we do is fully customised and built to your specification. Today we have a set of McCallum AV4s that have been customised for a customer and what we're going to do is we're going to make a short video just de detailing all the different steps that we go through to ensure that when they leave here and they arrive at the customer they're fully set up so they can be played straight out of the box. All the bypipes we get in come like this, they come in sticks only format and that way when we actually build them, we're building them for the customer, specifically for them and there is no kind of stock um, options of, of sitting with different bags and stuff like that. We much prefer that we, we take our time and put the, the time and effort into to make sure that you get exactly what you want rather than just what's in stock. So starting off with the bypass, the first thing we always do with this is we always go over and just make sure that all the hemping is, is good on them. It's one of the things that, that certainly when, when bypass arrive, if they're not hemped properly, obviously that slight this means that we'll never be able to get them in tune and poor maintenance is one of the biggest, biggest contributing factors to to obviously poor performance. So we like to make sure that all the hems, uh, sorry, all the joints are nice and hemped and they're all tight, which is always the best start. Okay, so fine flight, they're all absolutely fine. No need for the hem today. This customer's asked for a, a camo synthetic pipe bag. So that's the very first thing we're going to install. Okay, we're just going to move these bags to the side and we're going to take the stocks off. So base. We'll come back to the chanter. Now, when we're installing our synthetic bags, first thing we do, all the stocks go in from the head, from the, in, to the, head, to the inside of the bag. So we'll always just take just a small pea-sized spot of washed-up lemon, and we just run that around the collar. And all that does there, it just lubricates the, the stock going through. Again with the bags, just make sure it goes right through until the bottom of the of the collar clicks into the, the groove in the stock. And I'm just going to repeat that process with the other three as well. It's very important to make sure that the bottom of the collar clips into the, the groove in the stock and that's what creates a, a real tight seal. Now we do have different bag options on our bag pipes, uh, whether that's the, the traditional hides or, or sheepskin that have to be cut and tied in, or we have the, the, the more uh, modern synthetic bags and the hybrid bags. I think either way our, our process is always followed where we have a set checklist that we go through with our bag to make sure that everything's set up. So again, the last one here. five stocks in. Now the last one is a chanter stock and this is something we see a lot of problems when people try to put bags on themselves. They make the mistake of trying to put the o-ring on top of the bag. Coming with all the camel bags you do get a handy o-ring and jubilee clip and it's always important to make sure that the o-ring goes into the groove actually on the stock. And then just from the bottom that just rolls on. it clipped in their place. And once again we follow the same process coming from the inside of the bag. A handy tool here just for tightening the Jubilee clips up and just open that up a wee bit. So 
Now it's very important to get the Jubilee clip right on top of that o-ring. That, that's what creates a seal, so it's a metal um, clip on top of the on top of the rubber ring. And again, you just need to feel for it just to make sure that it's totally covered. So now we have all the stocks in, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to test the bag just to make sure that it's completely airtight. So I'm going to pop the glow stick in. And finally, as you can see, the bag's tied in perfectly, absolutely tight. Now that we know the bag's tight, it's time to add the first cosmetic piece. That's going to be a bag cover. So for this customer here, they've requested the navy and white cover. Just open up that zip there. Plenty of options to choose from, from bag cover colours and also different uh, braids and fringes for this. Uh, it's something there that's it's truly, well, I suppose, a personal choice for customisation. So there we go, that's just got all the stocks through there. I'm just going to put that bag cover on. And do the up just to keep it tidy. So we're going to add back in the glow sticks here. Now, we're looking at the actual bag pipes themselves and say we've been through the process to make sure that they're all hemmed up, which they are, which is great. The first thing we're going to do now is add these onto the bag and then we're going to look at adding onto our drone cords. So just building these up, we've got the piece on here. Uh, inside tenor. And outside. We don't need the pipe chat at the moment, we're going to come back to that. So again with this customer drone, yeah, customised choice, uh, we have a set of the, the Royal Stewart drone cords. Which actually looks fantastic alongside the blue, the blue cover. Again, one of the big problems that we, that we see, certainly when um, we get people's pipes in, is how they're spaced out the drone cords. And uh, if they space it too too far or too far apart, tend to find it ends up halfway down your arm, and then it's a lot more difficult to control. So one of the things we do do is make sure that these are, are properly spaced out and they're, they're secured just with the clips here. Would now just from a personal perspective for every time every set that we send out we make sure that the, the, there's no twist in the cords they're nice and straight uh, it's just a, a small presentation piece that that we do here i think it makes all the difference so one now that at the top and keep it nice and straight. So the last 
I'm going to do is just put the knot at the top here just to and we're almost there because of all our ties we want to just get rid of the um, the, the kind of different uh, the, the tails off these so we'll do that just in a second safety leaves here for this so already you can start to see them look a lot more like a set of bagpipes now so we have the actual instrument itself all set up ready to go but we know we can't make a sound yet there's a few other things we need to add. First being the drone reeds. So again, with this customer's own personal choice, we have a fantastic set of the, the balance stone reeds by, by Bruce Hitchens. So we're going to start offsetting these up. Again, a big part of setting up bagpipes is making sure that the drone reeds are there efficient, making sure they're taking enough up and not too much here, and then getting the balance of the channel as well. And it's a, a huge part of selling the, uh, a set of bagpipes or having them set up ready to go is making sure that as soon as you strike up the pipes, if you bring in the chat as it's going to cut the drones off. Uh, and it's a big bugbear of, of mine, certainly if you if you get a set of pipes, um, as soon as you kind of strike them up, you kind of want to move out of play. So we do spend a fair bit of time going through this. Again, I'm just going to hem these road, uh, reeds up. Quite important to make sure that they're, they're nice and secure in the reed seats. Last but not least, our base run. Again, nice and secure. Side. And for the first time, now we need to actually see how they sound. Okay, so we know that the inside and base working perfectly, but an outside tenor just needs a wee bit of adjustment. And the pipe chanter in. Again, just out of this customer specification, we have a McCallum chanter here. 
And I've chosen G1 reeds, so we'll have some G1 platinums in the easy strength this time. Every single bag comes with its own moisture control. It's something that we can either add in or leave in the case. Uh, a lot of people will choose to customise and add, add extra parts, like their, add different moisture control or, or I suppose drone valves and stuff like that. We get a lot of requests for that. At this point, we would add in any of these extras. And the last thing to do now, I suppose, is have a wee tune. So here we go. Mm -hmm. 